Welcome back, I'm Abby Peel, your Yankee Chronicle host. One of the largest expenses to our communities is education. Voting on next year's budget next week and related proposals is important to you. Hi, Winfried. Well, on March 8th, we have three big Warren articles on the agenda. Um, we do have the bond uh, vote that uh, addresses the needs and the proposal for the STEAM, the Science, Technology, Engineering, Applied Arts and Mathematics wing at the high school, which is a renovation and uh, addition project. So that is addressing student needs that have emerged over the last 50 years, really, as well as addressing needs of the building that have reached end of life and are in need of being renovated and uh, refurbished, such as the roof, electrical, HVAC areas. But more importantly, perhaps, is uh, that the educational spaces that we need and that our students need in order to benefit from education around computer science, culinary, uh, robotics, uh, mathematics and science, um, to be able to, to benefit from those newer technologies and, um, and, and get a good um, start for future careers. The other item that's on the, on the warrant is uh, the teacher contract. The district has successfully negotiated, or the school board I should say, has successfully um, negotiated with the teacher union another three-year agreement for our educators. Again, that's a successor agreement to the current contract. It's for three years. Um, it sees modest increases in, in salaries and benefits for our teachers um, and overall, in my view, provides the district as well as its employees um, a solid base for uh, stability and uh, particularly also economic stability for the next three years. And then lastly, we have the budget, uh, which again, we tried to be very conscious of the current situation uh, with the pandemic ending, as well as um, other, other pressures on, on individual families and residents. Uh, we tried to keep that very modest, uh, the increases. And if you need any other information, please consult the um, school district website. What I would urge you to do is get yourself as much information as you can. YCN has filmed uh, the deliberative session where we uh, talked in detail about the components and the rationale for that uh, addition and uh, renovation. We also on the district website have a uh, collection of videos, testimonials, um, data and information about the cost and the bond structure for the next 20 years, the annual payments. Um, and just recently I met with uh, local business owners who uh, were very interested in this uh, uh, renovation and the project that we are proposing uh, because they all see that it is very important for us to provide um, career opportunities for kids and students upon graduation in our area, in the Kearsarge area. Um, and particularly for those students that choose not to go to a two or four year college right out of uh, high school, uh, we certainly want to make sure that they have opportunities and uh, have a good start to their life. With all those uh, Warren articles, I think the most important piece in my view is that uh, you get to the point where you feel well informed um, and have all your questions answered. And I would urge you um, to go to the polls uh, in all of our seven communities that comprise the Kearsarge District. Go and vote on uh, Tuesday, March 8th. Thank you very much. Thanks, Winfried. On all fronts, please inform yourselves and remember to vote. It is our civic duty to do so. When Yankee Chronicle returns, Meg Cowan will give us a tease of upcoming events at the Newport Opera House. But first, let's visit a few of the community-minded businesses that support your Yankee Chronicle. <laughs>